Hey everyone, my name is Vic Taylor and welcome to another Black Ops video. Today I'm going to be bringing you a team deathmatch on Hanoi as well as using a requested class loadout from one of my subscribers. Before we get on to the main gameplay, I'm going to have to apologise for the bit of camping that I do in this video. Because of the way that the class is set up, it does require an amount of camping to be successful. I tried simply running and gunning and it did not work. So I do apologise for the campiness. I try not to camp too much. I move around. I don't just sit with my sights trained on a doorway like a few of the people in this match did. But, you know, I really do try and move around and make it entertaining for you guys. And I actually do go for a run and gun spree at the end. And that's where I get most of my deaths. So it's not a run and gun class, this one. The requested class was the Stoner 63 with extended mags and red dot sight, the CZ 75 with full auto, motion sensor, scavenger, warlord and hacker. I had never tried out the Stoner before, all I knew was that it was a light machine gun. So when I got the request I looked it up online and it looked a really attractive gun to me because it didn't suffer from damage reduction over distance. It's a three hit kill whether you're right up pretty close to them or if they're all the way across the map. So it looked like a really nice gun for me and as long as I didn't balls up the accuracy I thought that I could really rape with it. Well I don't think that I could really rape with it to be honest. I mean looking at the gun on its own merits without any of the other class like the perks and the attachments without any of that stuff I do think that the gun works wonderfully. It's fully auto. I started off using it as a semi-auto for some odd reason, I have no idea why, but it w it's a fully auto and it's very powerful and it doesn't look quite as big as the other light machine guns, like, that does makes no difference at all, but it looks kind of a, like a nicer gun. And as you can see my accuracy still sucks, my goodness. Ah. But yeah, I did like the Stoner 63, it gets a thumbs up from me and, you know, I really, you know, think that it could be useful. I think the smaller maps it would favour more because for long range it does kind of jump around a bit. So for you know maps like Summit, Nuketown, that kind of thing, I think the Stoner 63 would be better. That also links into the motion sensor. Now I do think that the motion sensor works very well with this class because you can't move around and run around a lot using it. So you have to kind of defend an area as it were and the motion sensor is useful for that so you know when you're surrounded if there's an enemy behind you etc so yeah the motion sensor is good I also managed to get Hacker Pro because of this class because the motion sensor you have to get 20 kills in range of your motion sensor or jammer for the third challenge of Hacker Pro and I'd figured that Hacker Pro wasn't worth really getting I mean how often do you get to hack an enemy turret or hack a enemy care package? I've actually been seeing a lot of turrets, but that's not the point. But I got 20 kills in range of my motion sensor, so I now have Hacker Pro. So I can run my tryhard class with Hardline Pro, care packages, and Hacker Pro, and beast it up basically. That's just my little tryhard thing. I mean, I, I can get a gunship or dogs or chopper gunner with four kills, so it's just basically I can be good without having to try. <laughs> it's just really bad, but you know, who cares? But thank you to the dude who gave me the class loadout. I got Hacker Pro because you, mate, thank you. The attachments on the gun. I like the red dot sight. I cannot do the iron sights at all, but I like the red dot sight, it does help my accuracy. The extended mags, it was nice coming back to them because when I started this channel that's all I used uh, and it was basically, oh what else would I use? But yeah it was nice coming back to them and not having to reload so often. But if you wanted to go without the extended mags you could just bung sleight of hand on instead of warlord so you'd only have one attachment but you'd have faster reloading times. So it's just kind of a balance of the different things that you want and I missed that grenade, my goodness. But yeah, it's just kind of a change up. There's really no difference either way because you don't have to reload very often when you have 60 bullets. I didn't use a secondary weapon at all. I don't really use secondary weapons at all much, but I do usually try to use them when I have requested class loadouts. 
but with Scavenger, you're never going to run out of bullets for your primary, so I think it would make more sense to have a rocket launcher as your secondary, so if there are any pesky choppers or gunships in the air, you can take them down because not enough people shoot down enemy air support seriously. I can be stuck in a ground war match and no one else is taking down enemy air support and it just pisses me off immeasurably. I mean, surely that, oh dear me, a flash fail. But surely you should want to protect your team and have them win. I guess kill whores just run everywhere. But it just really annoys me when people don't take down enemy air support. But yeah, you're never going to run out of bullets with your primary when you've got scavenger on. So if you want to use your secondary as a pistol, then I really would suggest bunging the lightweight on. I mean, I'd suggest that anyway, because with a heavy gun like this, I mean, you can see that I'm really slow here. I mean, I'm slow as shit. And you bung lightweight on and you can actually move at the same speed as everyone else who hasn't got a light machine gun. So if I changed up the class, I would definitely bung lightweight on. I'm sorry, but I just cannot do without, you know, speed and everything. The mobility of a gun is, you know, very important. And I think that would also allow, if you put lightweight on, for an, an ability to run and gun with this class. Because it is a good class, but, you know, if you put lightweight on, you could run and gun and protect in the area. You could do both, and you would have the freedom to be able to switch up your gaming styles while playing. I mean, maybe have two classes with this on when you're playing, one with scavenger and one with lightweight. I don't know, but I would really, really put lightweight on it. And I think that is basically it. Yep, I think that is basically it. There weren't a lot of claymores in this game, so I can't really comment anything about hacker. I've already said my piece on Warlord with the extended mags, red dot sights, sleight of hand, all that shiz and the motion sensor so basically this class is a good one but I would change a lot of things about it so yeah I would instead of lightweight instead of lightweight what am I talking about I am tripping over my words ignore that we'll cut that <laughs> but instead of scavenger you put on lightweight instead of warlord you put on sleight of hand except sacrificing extended mags and instead of the pistol secondary put on the stroller 3 because I find that all other rocket launchers, grenade launchers, etc. They're shit for taking down enemy air support and that's all I use my rocket launcher for. I don't noob tube because noob tubing is obnoxious and it's annoying and I'm likely to blow myself up, to be perfectly honest. So I don't, I have never used them in my life. But what were you doing, you second chance bitch? Um, someone has a gunship up in the air. Is it a gunship? I think it's a gunship. I haven't got the sound audio turned on. I mean, you'll hear it, but while I'm doing this commentary, I don't because I find that when the sound commentary sound commentary, my goodness when I haven't got a plan of what I'm going to talk about I really do fuck up, don't I? <laughs> but yeah, the sound, the in-game sound I find that when it's loud like when the guy shouts something or there's lots of gunfire I raise my voice when I'm commentating which makes me kind of shout and I mean that I'm sure that's annoying to you guys so I just turn the sound off now when I'm commentating unless there's something really important going on so, to wrap up, I do like this class, but I would change a lot of things about it if I was going to use it personally and for any length of time. If you have a requested class loadout, a requested game mode, a requested map, anything that you want to see done in Black Ops, just either leave a comment or message me and I will get it done. I really enjoy playing different and new ways and it's just fun to be able to complete challenges that you guys set. And that is just such a fucking camper, my goodness, I couldn't believe it when I saw the kill cam. But yeah, I just really enjoy hanging out with you guys and doing shit. There will be a second voice episode put up later today for all you guys that enjoy that. And I believe it is George Storm who's doing it, I am unsure. But yeah, it's a very good game with the Olympia, and uh, why can't I get good games with shotguns? My goodness. Ha, but the gameplay is wrapping up. I went 20 and 6, which I think is very respectable for a low mobility class, because I am very high mobility, and that, that death was so fucking bullshit. <laughs> but thank you to anyone and everyone who's been watching. If you liked it or you didn't like it, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.